come to see John Bridger, racehorse trainer, and he trains this remarkable horse behind me here, Megalala, 16 years old. I've been trying to work out how old he is in human terms, and, and he works out at 58 and a half years old in human terms, which is pretty good to run fast and win round Brighton or Lingfield, two courses he absolutely thrives at. And here he is, Arabella's putting the finishing touches to him. He's shining like a, like a diamond, but he is. And we've been watching him go about his daily work. It's great to see the old boy, isn't it, Megalala? He looks. Yeah, I thought you were you talking about never, me. No, not <laughs> you. On. But you would never know he was 16, would you? No, not the way he acts. He, he acts quite like a young, normal, like he used to. You know, no different. He used to be a lot t harder. He used to pull a lot harder than he does now, but he's still enthusiastic. Still takes you along. Um, but it, it's not quite. So he knows where he's going and where he's going to pull up and everything. Where he never used to put, want to pull up before. And has he always shown that enthusiasm? We saw even when he was going up the gallops, he had a little glance at the camera, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't miss anything. Something strange like the car or the camera there. Um, he would see that, but um, he's just always enthusiastic. Um, probably it's just what he's done all his life, you know, and gallop, that's all he's, he's known, really. It's clear watching Megalala go through his paces on the gallops that the old boy still maintains his enthusiasm for the game. But how did this racing legend come into the care of the Bridgers? We went over to Ireland just basically to visit these friends of ours and I think it might have been John's um, 60th birthday, that's how long ago it was. So I suppose it would add up right really, wouldn't it, with the, how old he is. I didn't go to buy him, just went for the weekend. He loose schooled him, he used to jump around in the loose school. And I thought, oh, he'd make a smashing jumper. He's a very thick set horse. And I thought I'd buy him for a, as a jumper, but uh, I couldn't really buy him there because he wanted five grand. But I bought, I came home, I would stay the weekend there, came home and then I spoke to one of the owners and he said if I could buy him, buy him. And I did, and that's when I bought him. You'd be cantering down the gallops and all of a sudden he'd take off and you'd nearly end up in lip hook. Were you on him? Yeah, yeah, through the hedge, through, everywhere. Yeah, he, he had no brakes. If he wanted to go, he was like a Jekyll and Hyde. He would be gone. Some days you'd canter down there happily, and another day he'd, he'd just um, change into this beast. <laughs> he's a bit, he's a bit artful. I think he knows who's on him. You know, if he gets to the top of the gallops and you're not, you're not in control, he's round the bend and on his way back home. John is now preparing Megalala to embark upon a remarkable 13th consecutive season. His career began at Fontwell way back in 2005 when he contested a two mile, one and a half furlong bumper. At the first ra race we ran him in, we could never get him to settle and he never got a trip really. And he'd run out of steam and then we ran him over seven furlongs in a claimer and then we didn't want to lose him but we wouldn't have worried because we were running him in a claimer to try and win with him really. They come inside the last furlong and a half, and Mountain Pass has got the edge. Uh, just fractionally, though, to Megalada in the pink jacket. Stand side comes convinced. Keep back, and it's right against the stand side fence. So that's over on the far side of the line. Lives up. Megalala's too classy here. Megalala wins nicely in the end by a length and a half to Mountain Pass. He always showed that he could, you felt he had the ability, but he was just burned himself out every time. And I think it was Mark Holford who rode him that, that day, and we thought he would win. The owner did back him, but he backed him every time he ran, I think, the, the original owner, the first time he did. Since that first Brighton victory in 2006, Megalala has gone on to record at least one success in 10 of the following 12 campaigns. Megalala hanging on tenaciously to the advantage inside the final furlong here, and Megalala is just doing enough here. Dossing in front will come home and win for Kieran O'Neill and John Bridger. What a servant he is. John, this horse must be a pleasure to train. Yes, you don't train him. I think he trains himself, you know. Um, no, he's a smashing horse, you know. And they're all like him. He's tough. He's a cracking old horse, isn't he? This is how the youngsters should do it. This horse, Megalala, is 13 years young and absolutely bolts up. Megalala. No, I didn't know what he was going to do, to be honest. He didn't know what he was... 
he was going to give him two runs and he was going to be retired if he wasn't in love with it. But since he's been back in, he loves, it's like he wants to do it. You know, he's first one to go out, wants to be out, you know. So how do you retire him? Um, so uh, he's just a legend really, isn't it? And Mega Lala is still keeping up the gallop well inside the final furlong from Stadion and racing up towards the line. He's a little weary in front, but he's keeping on heroically. And another mega performance. Mega Lala wins again at Brighton. Oh, well, he's a truly genuine horse. You know, he made all last time when he won, and uh, so he obviously ran a great race again. Um, he's so genuine, you know, when horses come back to him, he'll always keep battling. The horse will let John know when he's had enough, you know. And when the horse has had enough, he'll be retired. But all the time, he's loving it like he is. Why stop him, you know? You know he'll let us know when he's had enough. Won't he? Yeah, he'll have to yeah. come back to Brian because he likes Brian. Even if he works on the beach, he'll have to do something, yeah. won't he? <laughs> As they race now inside the final furlong, Megalala, the sprightly 15-year-old, the locally trained understory towards the near side. These two slugging it out like heavyweights with 100 yards to go. Megalala's on top, and Megalala, the 15-year-old, scores for the 20th time on the flat. When you're sat on him, he doesn't feel like he's 15 at all. He feels like a three-year-old. You know, he's fresh and he's well in himself, and he... He shows no signs of quitting any time soon, that's for sure. He's very sort of solid, he's, he, and, he, and the thing with Brighton, where he's gained over this, you know, where he's won there, is because he can quicken down the hill. Not many horses can come around that bend and actually quicken, and that's something he can do. And he's, and he's always been a sound horse, so he's got no aches and pains, so I think that's, that's helped. All the time he's, he's, he's winning and enjoying his races, or hopefully winning, he'll, um, he'll keep running. I mean, how long do you go on for? Age is a good thing for some people. Some people wear well, don't they? And other people don't. I mean, <laughs> you ride. You have age. ridden. Have you ridden him? I have ridden him when I look back. Yeah, in the early days, I, I rode him. So do yeah. you think you're part of his success story? Oh, do you? definitely. Yes, he wouldn't be where he was if it wasn't for me, really. Well, it was great. It's just been great to see him. Has he always had the same stable? No, he moved about. No, anywhere in the yard. It, um, um, he used to be at the top because he was the first when I fed. He was the first one to go out, out, but I don't know why, but he's down the bottom end now. He's got he's star got, treatment. Someone's drawn yeah. a little star on his Yeah, name. I mean, it's my granddaughter. She, she puts a star on him. <laughs> he loves his racing. He loves to be up front. And um, he just loves all the, the whole saga of the whole thing. He loves all the attention. And uh, he's all, he wouldn't be, want to be stuck out the field, stagnating, really. He's, he's had cards. He's had Christmas cards. He's had, we've had lots of emails, um, packet of polos, um, yeah, yeah, he's had, he's had all of that. He's quite an interesting horse to watch because he's, he's got this characteristic about walking in, you know, going in the stalls. You have to just won't lead him in because he flattens them and so they just let him go in on his own. And also, I think he's a front runner where people like to see them yeah. hang on and hang on. He's got on. so many yeah. good characteristics, hasn't he, yeah. really? Enthusiastic. Yeah, fantastic. Well, long may he live and run. Yeah, yeah. keep me going. <laughs> Two old boys together, I suppose, really. You could name the horse that, couldn't you? <laughs> Or two old boys together. Yes. That would be quite a good Might for the next one, wouldn't it? I have to work out how many letters there were in it. You yeah, put it all together, one. two old yeah. boys together. Yeah. yeah, maybe you ought to rename, name a horse that. Yeah.